So I've always been interested in chemistry at low temperature, cooling things right down to see what happens. So I think I'm going to try it out on my pumpkin. First of all, just to jazz it up, I'm going to light up the pumpkin. So here we are. These sticks themselves are chemically quite interesting. When you do the reaction, you make molecules in an excited state and they give out light. So let's, let's be a bit greedy and use four. So now I'm going to start cooling it down. So because liquid nitrogen that I'm going to use to cool it is quite cold and you can burn yourself, I've got my gloves on. So let's get going. So the nitrogen, as it's going in, is at nearly minus 200 degrees centigrade. It cools everything down, and it's cooled down the light stick. So the light sticks have now gone out completely because the chemical reactions have slowed down so much that they've really stopped. So it's going to take a lot of liquid nitrogen to cool this down, but it's crackling nicely. It's sprung a small leak around this side, but let's hope it's not too bad. I think we cut it a bit too much when we were carving it out. In you go. So the hole's got a bit bigger, so I put it on its side. Liquid nitrogen is quite light. It's much lighter than water. So, but we must be patient. Let it cool down a bit. So what's happening when we cool it down is that the water in the pumpkin is freezing solid to make ice. And when it's solid, it gets much more brittle. So all being well, then when we hit it, it's going to go into lots of little pieces. Well, I need to take aim. So that was not bad, was it? So I think I didn't do badly. Let's see what the others can do. For the Halloween special of Periodic Table videos, check out my pumpkin. I carved it myself. I quite like the design. What we're going to do is introduce the, the magic flammable substance, which is actually a gel made of calcium acetate uh, and an alcohol, ethanol. Let's uh, slop it in. Mm. Yeah, yeah, get a good coating in there of the gel. Um, I've just realised, uh, has anyone got a lighter? Yeah. Ah, once it's going. So let's 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 make sure we get this from bay going first of all. Oh yes. So where's the light? Sorry, there we go. So we've got our orange flame, and we're going to see what happens when we add this substance to it. Which, when I take the lid off, you'll see, it's a very nice, vibrant blue colour. Okay. But those of you who've done your chemistry, we've got copper. So let's see what colour it should give us. There we go. What you're getting is the green colour in the flames from the copper. Oh, that's some of the gel at the top. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't realise it was, uh, it looks like it's uh, being sick. Brilliant. So what we've got here, strontium nitrate. And those of you who've done your uh, chemistry will know what strontium colour will give us. So here it is, white kind of powdery substance, quite boring. But watch what happens when we put it in. We've got the green, and now we're adding red to the mix. The, the pumpkin's still cold on the outside, so, you know, I can touch it absolutely fine, no problem. Whoa, this pumpkin's on fire. It's Halloween. We're going to have ourselves a pumpkin party. Many people have said, are we going to play with liquid oxygen? But Neil and I had a bit of a chinwag, and we decided that that was far too obvious. So, we've gone for another one of our favourites, which Neil has got in his hand, which is a small charge of thermite. Thanks. Is this good enough? Yeah. Is it good for light? Yeah. We might make some light in a minute. So thermite's a mixture of aluminium and iron oxide. And again, it's a, it's a classical competition reaction where they're competing for the oxygen Aluminium is going to win because it's much more reactive and it's going to make molten hot iron, which we hope is going to total our pumpkin. So, pumpkin, thermite, sparkler, fire. Okay.
pumpkin soup. Wow, I think our pumpkin's been sick. Molten iron, how cool. Look at that. What do you say to the other pumpkin people in the competition? Bring it on. Time again next year. <laughs> Come along, Martin, when you think you're hard enough. Mm. <laughs> Anyone for roast pumpkin?